This short, simple guide to the element copper will provide facts and information for chemistry students who are learning about the periodic table and, in particular, the element copper. Each chemical element is given a unique chemical symbol, which is used all over the world. The chemical symbol for copper is Cu. The chemical symbols of elements come from their English, Greek, or Latin names. The first letter of a symbol is always a capital letter, and if there are any subsequent letters, they are expressed in lower case. The word copper originates from the Latin word cuprum, hence the symbol Cu, after the island of Cyprus. Cyprus was the major supplier of copper to the Roman Empire. Copper was associated with Venus, the goddess of love, in Roman mythology. The Romans believed that Venus rose from the waters of Cyprus, looking at herself in a copper mirror. The association between copper and the goddess led to the belief that copper would attract love and protect against evil. All of the chemical elements are given a unique atomic number. The atomic number for copper is 29. Atoms are made up of three kinds of smaller particles called protons, neutrons, and electrons. The atomic number is the number of protons in the atom. The chemical elements of the periodic table are shown in order of atomic number and identified by their symbol. The periodic table is a chart showing the symbols and the atomic numbers of all known elements, such as copper, in one large grid. The chemical elements of the periodic table are placed in order of their atomic numbers. Atomic numbers increase as you move across a row, called a group, or down a column, called a period. The atomic number of copper is 29. The element symbol for copper is Cu. Copper was discovered around 9000 BC and is probably the first metal mined and crafted by man. Some metals, including copper, were used by some of the oldest civilizations, including the ancient Egyptians, Greeks, and Romans. Right up to the medieval period of the Middle Ages, people believed that only seven metals existed. These seven metals were iron, gold, silver, copper, lead, tin, and mercury, and are now referred to as the metals of antiquity. The element copper is one of over 100 different chemical elements that are known to modern chemistry. Each element is first identified at room temperature and pressure as being a solid, liquid, or gas, referred to as states of matter. Copper is a solid at normal room temperature and pressure. Each element has physical properties that can be observed and measured, such as color density and odor. The chemical properties are the characteristics that determine how a substance will react with other substances, such as water or oxygen. What is copper? In a general overview of the element, we can first describe copper as a solid. It is a reddish-brown metallic element that can be polished to a bright finish. The main source of copper is the USA, but it can also be found in Canada, Chile, Peru, and Russia, and to a limited extent in Europe. It is an excellent conductor of heat and electricity, and is widely used for electrical wiring, water piping, and corrosion-resistant parts. The more specific physical properties of copper can usually be observed using our senses or involve a numerical measurement, such as determining its boiling, freezing, and melting points. The physical properties of copper are color, reddish-brown metal, malleability, capable of being shaped or bent, ductility, easily pulled or stretched into a thin wire, luster, has a shine or glow, conductivity, excellent transmission of heat or electricity. The chemical properties are the characteristics that determine how copper will react with other substances when it is changed chemically. The chemical properties of copper are toxicity, poisonous in large amounts, reactivity with water, it does not react with water, oxidation, readily combines with water and carbon dioxide producing hydrated copper carbonate, corrosion, corrodes when exposed to air. Once the properties of an individual element have been identified, it is placed into a group of elements which have common properties and characteristics. Copper is in the group called the transition metals. The 38 elements classified as transition metals are found in the middle of the periodic table in groups 3 through 12. Only a few of the transition metals are colored. Most of them are silver gray or silver bluish. As with all metals, the transition metals are ductile and malleable and good conductors of electricity and heat. They are generally hard and dense, and less reactive than the alkali metals. Iron, copper, silver, and gold are important transition metals. 
Once the properties of an element have been established, we then have the ability to identify how it can be used. The Statue of Liberty is made of copper about the thickness of two pennies put together. Its distinctive green color is due to its familiar patina green coating, which has formed on the surface of the statue due to exposure to the elements. Copper is used for electrical wiring, water piping, coins, and corrosion-resistant parts, including the copper tubing used by plumbers. Copper sulfate is used as a parasiticide in aquariums and in the treatment of foot rot in cattle. The properties of copper are classified by many other factors, including the melting point, boiling point, atomic mass, and density of the element. All of these precise measurements, together with additional facts and information, can be found on our website. So ends our simple guide to the element copper. We have created a unique collection of videos and many other important elements that have been developed to enable chemistry students to gain a fast overview of the properties of each of the elements, together with their discovery and history. Check out our easy video guides to the elements via our website.